to him that he shall open stamp duty central account mm. since that 2017 to death emepele refused to open stamp duty central account they after are, the president had instructed, instructed him. him they are scattering the money based on that violation i directed the dgss to detain him mm. when he sees six hours he start panicking checking am i under detention am i under detention am i detained am i detained am i under detention he's asking i have a problem i have a problem i am going to us for for i am a brief me and the minister of finance i am going to report at the national loan i have my medicine at home i'm taking my blood pressure is high based on that the officers informing us then as a good man that is why i respect the deputy uh, the, the director general of state security service you see bitch mm. i respected him mm. he said okay this man <laughs> now the way he is shaking he can easily fall and die here and the, the, and the people will accuse us that we call him <laughs> and kill him here <laughs> because since he say his blood is going high he can easily hurt hurt attack so let release him on administrative bail mm -hmm. and go and do the national assignment for the IMF brief then all the documents and the information we need then she can brought and the three to four days he should come and report it himself. We don't even need IMF loan anymore. We don't need any money from IMF. So, the DG asked them to leave him to go on administrative bail. I can't remember the year, but there was a year Nigerian government borrowed IMF money. Yes. I, I, Nigeria borrowed IMF money. So, we don't need IMF. We don't need. So, since he went on administrative bail, he start going on the ground to prostrate the investigation, mm. including big big people in this country, including some chiefs from South North. They called DG to stop the investigation. They try as in one way or the other. They even made an arrangement for him to follow the president for, for this. Yes, travel. yes, uh, we know. There and is one man from Kwara. What I want Nigerian to understand fully. One old man from Kwara. Yeah, CBN mm. created to change money purposely, purposely, to divert the attention of Mr. President, to divert, to prostrate this investigation. Yeah. On our shot. Because if you can see what they did, they just spent the money. They printed it here in the uh, in the minting and printing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They change the just the, they buy just ink and paper and change the color. <laughs> but how much? Almost three trillion naira. They are looking the way that all this oh, money to they cover will up. to cover where they say they spend the money. But I want to tell Nigerian one since today. Wait, Mr. Chairman. They are claiming that what they used to print this money is, is about three trillion naira. It's three trillion naira they spend. Recover of. Because did they come out and tell us how much they spent? Mm -mm. Did you ever know the budget of central bank mm -mm. minister of finance budget and national planning she told me that she don't know the budget of cbn she the minister she's the minister but fortunately the budget of the cbn is 2.4 trillion annually annually 2.4 trillion that naira. is what they brought this last this year now we are about to pass the budget with the CVN budget of 
2.4 trillion. And what I want Nigerian to know, mm. nobody checkmates that money. Nobody supervise them. Nobody checkmate them. Nobody go and see their activities because what he did first when National Nine Assembly in March, Speaker Pemi in March as a speaker, he quickly come and bring his own brother, the member representing his constituency, Ooh, as the chairman of, of the banking. banking and currency. Oh, Emefele's brother, 